Hiya, my name is Dave and today we're going to be looking at my F1 and testing the light meter to make sure that I can rely on it when I'm out and about on my adventures. So we're going to bolt load some film, uh, about 10 frames or so, so I can shoot it in the garden to test the camera. And when we do that in this particular AP model, is open it up, got a little ratchet here, and we need some tape. And we've got a roll of film we've used before, um, and that's been cut to leave a little tongue from previous usage, and a bit of tape across there. Get our thing and rock, bring it out a little bit. A thing, a film, and then match it up as best we can. Tuck them around the back so it's st sticky tape both sides give a good rub okay. and then bring this back in carefully we don't want to cause any trouble right, so it's just been a bit stiff as well okay and then put that in right now so we've got that in that's closed okay so now we turn the dial back, there's a little sort of notch up here, turn the arrow here. Now this first part from there to there is like loading the leader uh, for later, so wind it on. Okay, so now, uh, now we add the shots. Go about 10-ish, right? So it's done. Now, move this up, wind it forward a bit so we can get this out, which is a bit fiddly. There we go. We need a bit of a pull out here. Okay, so that's that done. Put the handle back in there, close that. Right. Close that in a bit. So now we need to make the, the tongue. Be a bit fiddly, this a big pair of scissors. Like that. It's not the best, but it'll work. And then load the camera. Sorry, load the camera. Make sure it's on the thingy. Pull that through and close that. There we go. Oh, turn it on. Ping. Just tighten it up a little bit. Right, that should be enough. Yep. And now we'll go out take some pictures of some flowers in sunshine, develop this and see if the light meter um, works. Switch that off, just took the, the pictures and now we're going to take the film out. So push that little button and wind our film on. And what I'm listening for, that you can hear this, but I'm waiting for for a click in a minute. There, you hear it? So that means now that the tongue is around here somewhere. Okay, so just give it a little more nudge. Now we'll open the camera, and if I've not messed it up, voila, oh, you see? So now that means I can load load this into my developing tank and see whether uh, using the light meter setting like bang on uh, for the current light conditions which are a bit overcast. Uh, 
Um, went back out again using my Sakonic light meter. Um, done similar shots on the second roll of film um, just to see how my light meter in the camera compares to the Sakonic meter readings I was getting. And basically at 250 I'm getting 2.8 on nearly all of the shots. One was F4 when I was going straight up to the sky as it were. But um, other than that, uh, around the garden on this roll, roll 2, was 2.8 2 uh, 250. Um, and I think from what I was looking at, at the light meter in the camera, it looked like it was going to be one stop underexposed in the camera. But we will see. So I'm going to develop these two in um, dilution H of HC110, only because it's the only the only uh, quick and easy to use developer I have to hand at the moment. Uh, there's another story which I'll go into later. Um, we'll get these two done, get them dried, and have a look, do a side by side. Okay, so the uh, negatives are dried, and that's one of the best bits of kit I've bought was the uh, Durst UT100 dryer. You know, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and your negatives are dry, no more waiting, especially in the winter. But anyway, I digress. Um, on first inspection, don't worry about the what looks like light leaks at the top there. I've got, I know the camera's not got any light leaks, so I think this might be to do with the... Uh, the way I've spooled the, the film on. Um, but the negatives look very similar in exposure. I mean, I'll, I'll scan them in a minute. But they do, they look um, very similar in their, uh, in their makeup. But yeah, so let's get these scanned and um, compare a couple and see how we get on. So what do you think of that then? Uh, do you like them? Uh, to me, um, the internal meter and the external meter, using the external meter, produce the same shots, or shots that I can use. Nice and flat negatives that I can then put in my larger and uh, make enlargements, make prints, or um, you know, scan in as I have done and adjust accordingly, adding a bit of contrast here and that. So I can rely on my light meter in my lovely F1 and you're going to be seeing a lot more of that F1 believe me <laughs> so thank you very much indeed leave your comments 
do the thumbs and the likes and all the subs and all that sort of stuff. And I wish you well. <laughs>